If you want to make nature scenes like this, but don't have a nature asset pack, no problem. I'll show you how to create nature assets from scratch. You can get these nature assets for free on my Gumroad. And while you're there, check out the ultimate Gobo pack as well. All right guys, so I just entered a local park where we are going to retrieve some nature assets. We have a twig. It's in the jacket now. Let's take it home. Obviously we also need grass. I'm just going to this. Don't know what this is. Looks like it might sting. I'm going to grab it anyway. I'm a nature thief right now. That leaves obtained. I feel like I'm on a quest trying to get some items to make a even cooler item. This I see often. Snatch some weeds in the pocket. <laughs> Time to enter the forest. Just a couple of steps. Don't want to get my shoes wet. Oh, I like this. Snatch. I'm leveling up. Stone. In the pocket. <laughs> Don't know what this is. And it's going in the pocket. So I've assembled all the nature on earth in my pocket. And now all we have to do is take some pictures that look very clean. So we can cut it out in our CG program. I have got a bag with all the nature assets in it. Over here I have a little piece of white paper. I'm going to place it on my desk. And I'm going to place all of these nature assets one by one on this white paper. And we try to eliminate as much shadow as possible so we do not have to do some more work in post. Probably do have to make some adjustments in post, but first let's go ahead and film that. So right now we are in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how to extract the nature from the videos that we've created. First I'm going into the edit tab right over here. You might have pictures but I made videos because it's a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and it doesn't make pictures so I'm going to drag it in like this. As you can see we have several different nature assets on a white paper. Since I filmed this in RAW I will have to change the color management in order to see whether everything is sharp or not because right now there's a bit of a haze over it. I'm going into the settings over here, go to color management Change DaVinci YRGB to DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. I'm going to uncheck Automatic Color Management and I will change the color processing mode to Custom. In the input color space, I will select my own camera, which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. The timeline color space can be Rec. 709, which is fine. I'm going to press save and as you can see we have already retrieved some of the colors and now we know whether it is sharp or not. So let's take this one as an example first. I'm going over into the Fusion tab right over here and the first method of extraction will be masking. So I'm going to select this polygon tool and drag it into the timeline. Now if you connect it everything disappears. So we do not want to connect it but we do want to have this checked. Now we can trace the outline of this leaf. If you click and hold you can add a curve to it. In this fashion we can cut out our leaf. Now this is a very simple shape so it is possible to cut it out using the masking tool. However there are more complex shapes that we cannot do with the masking tool unless you have a lot of time. So let's say we want to extract an object like this. It's very complicated and it's a lot more work if you had to do this masking by hand. So I'm going to press shift space and add the luma keyer. The luma keyer allows us to make separation between dark and light values in order to extract the mask from it. So if I press on one it will show up on my first monitor but this is not very clear. So there's an icon with three circles right over there and if we press on it it will only show the alpha. Now in the right side of the inspector, we can click on this to get the inspector, we have two sliders over here. This one will make it darker and this one will make it brighter. Now the trick is to make it as dark as possible, retrieving as much of the alpha image of the leaves while removing any other grain from this area. We already have a pretty good looking leaf but as you can see there are some problems with it. On the second monitor it has extracted the leaf but it's inside out. So I'm going to click on the invert button and now we have only the leaf. As you can see there are some problems because there is a shadow. Now if you filmed this with the correct lighting setup, you do not have any shadows and this will work fine. But if you have problems like this, I will show you how to fix it. I'm going to press shift space and add a paint node. And we want to paint away these shadows. And the way I'm going to do it is by clicking on the double brush right over here, which allows us to copy a part over here and paint it in here. I'll show you what I mean. Hold alt and click. You will now have the mark of an X on this area, which means that if we draw over here, it will take this area as our brush. As you can see, we can now remove the white areas on the leaf. Now, if you think the brush is too strong, you can go over to brush controls and decrease the softness. I do recommend setting it to 0.003 because otherwise you might have some issues with the pre-multiplication and it will add some jagged edges. Not that noticeable, 
but this works better. So now we can select an area in the transparent by clicking on Alt and paint away anything that we do not want to have in this nature scene. Now you can be pretty rough with this as people do not know whether this leaf actually looks like this. Now you can spend the time on this if you want. If it's going to be an asset that you are going to be using for a long time, then you definitely want the quality to be higher as well, especially if you're doing close-ups. So now we can paint away pretty much anything that we like. Uh, and it's still a lot of work, but it's better than masking it out. So that is one way to do this. Now another way to do it is to take one of these leaves, like this one, and remove everything from this leaf. Then when we got this leaf extracted, we can take it out, bring it into Blender and make our own branch. That is an option if you want to save time. Now we can also remove these areas on the side simply by adding a mask tool, bringing it over here and surrounding the entire plant like this adding it to the media in and adding it to the luma gear as well. And now we will have a transparent image with this leaf. Now you can also make this leaf a bit more contrasty by adding a color corrector node right over here, increasing the gain, decreasing the gamma, and now it will be a bit more contrasty. You can also take the saturation and increase it. Now if you want to extract this image, you can right click, save image, and go over here and set it to PNG. Now these are the two methods of extraction that work very well on complex models. Some models in nature are very complex and we can do them in DaVinci Resolve and some are a bit simpler and we can do them straight in Blender. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm in Blender 4.1 and I'm going to lead the cube and the light, add a plane, add an image, reference, and I'm going to select my grass blade. I found a grass blade, put it on the road, made a picture of it, and that is this grass blade. So I'm going to select the plane, decrease the size, and bring it over here. Now basically what we want to do is trace the outline of this grass. So I'm going to enter into edit mode by pressing tab, click on two to select the edges. We'll select this edge, E and extrude, E extrude, maybe scale it a little bit, E rotate, scale, E and just follow the outline of the grass blade. Now we've traced the outline of the grass blade. So I'm going to bring this up, go to the shader editor, click on new, click on the principal BSDF and press Control T. Now we can add an image texture. I'm going to add the same image that we used as a reference. Heading over into this mode so we can actually see what we're doing and it's kind of a stretched out tile. We do not want that, so I'm going into tab, press A to select all, press U to project from view. And now if we go into the UV editor, we can align this with our grass blade. Scale it up and now it's aligned with our grass blade. Now, some edges might be overlapping and you have to look out for that and just adjust it so it fits on the grass leaf like this. But we can do some more with this. So let's go over to the shader editor. I'm going to take the color and drag it into the roughness. I'm going to place a color ramp in between. I'm going to switch these. Now we can also add some bump to this. So I'm going to press Shift A, add a bump, take the color, bring it into the height, normal into the normal, and it will automatically make a bump for us. Now we can decrease the strength of this or increase, do whatever you like. I'm going to set it to something like 0.4. It looks pretty nice. There's one more thing we can do. Add a translucent BSDF and add an add shader. I'm going to place it right here in between and drag the translucent into the shader. Then take the color from the original image and bring it into the color of the translucent. Take the bump bring it into the bump. Now in between the image texture and the color of the translucent, we want to add a hue and saturation and value node. Bring it in here and increase the saturation, increase the value and uh, maybe change the hue ever so slightly. And basically what this does is that if there's a strong light source coming through, then it will make it brighter in certain areas than in others. And uh, it's basically a bit more translucent. You can see that by clicking on this. Now it's pretty dark, there's no light coming through the grass plane. Some light is actually passing through our grass plane and this makes it look a lot more realistic. So we're going over here, adding a plane and make sure to follow the same outline as we did before using the skill option and the E and whatever you like. And now we've got a cool looking blade of grass that we can use in the particle system. I actually recommend making a few. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this entire nature scene. If you want to get the 4K textures for free, you can check the link in the description. And I recommend also checking out the Ultimate Gobo pack, which I recently made. And if you want to become an undeniable force in the 3D space, then I highly recommend watching this video next. <laughs>